When we look at AI and mainframe, of course, mainframes, you know, super powerful systems there. But when we look at AI to run those LLMs, you you also need, you know, a ton of resources. But is so when we look at mainframe, are we looking at mainframe as a target to run AI workloads or is mainframe for businesses who are leveraging AI to enable them to better use AI on mainframe itself? I just want to understand where does AI fit on mainframe? Does that question make sense? It, it absolutely does. And I think what, where we see is there's a huge opportunity for clients to, you know, again, based on the use case to actually deploy AI to the mainframe. And that's why we've made in, you know, investments within IBM on the mainframe, like the IBM Tellum processor that's used on the Z16, which has an on-chip AI accelerator, right? The reason for that is because our clients, right, and, and mainframe folks absolutely do want to deploy mainframe um, AI on the mainframe to get better insights, right? So you think about use cases like fraud detection, for example, the, the closer we can bring AI and the AI models and, and inference serving environments, for example, the closer we can bring that to the business workload, right, the more rapidly we're going to be able to make a business decision. And so ultimately, right, the, the, the sort of golden path a lot of customers are heading towards is to be able to make business decisions, right, for things like fraud detection in real time. And so really, in order to do that, right, we've got to have AI running on the mainframe as a fully supported, right, workload. And, and that's really what we've enabled with things like, um, you know, the AI Accelerate, but Evan also mentioned open source frameworks, right, having the right software ecosystem available as well. When we look at generative AI versus AI, these can be seen as two different things, different kind of workloads, different approach, or, of course, depending on who you talk to, what is the place for Gen AI on a mainframe? Or it doesn't matter. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we are looking at right what use cases. I, I think to answer your question directly, it's it's going to be use case based, right? Um, so to give you an example, there may be data that's used by right certain foundation model or, or generative AI models um, that has a sensitivity to it, right? That that's mainframe based that customers may not want to move off the platform. We see those sorts of things in particular in regulated industries. So I, I think to, to go back to the question a bit, a lot of whether or not Z is the right fit for a use case, right, is going to depend on those use cases and, and sort of how they relate to the workloads or data that run on the platform. So if I go back to the earlier response, you know, Obviously, the transactional AI, right, the, the, the applications of AI in, in transaction, like fraud detection, are going to have a very tight affinity to the platform. But we are also looking at other use cases where foundation models or generative AI might be relevant and, you know, working to further, you know, enhance our overall stack to make sure that, right, we can be relevant in those use cases as well.